Well, hello there, YouTube. And welcome to the 28th of November. Man, thank goodness that freaking downpour that we've had all night in this morning stopped. Man, there's got to be some standing water on them roads. It's going to be sketchy. <laughs> yeah, them poor old sportsters and spiders and stuff sure aren't getting a whole lot of love in this weather, are they? <laughs> but the crazy thing is it's, it's warm. It's like 48 degrees out here. Kelly still thinks that it's cold, but 48 degrees after all that cold we had, it feels like springtime to me. Buckle up, woman. All right. <laughs> Little woman. It's a hubby. That was a less than a pleasant ride to work, but it was safe. Yeah. It's a pouring down rain out here. Yeah. 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 Just kind of that way. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go uh, take the rainy walk downstairs. and You know, I think I'm going to go through the store and it's just as much to go down the ramp and go around as yeah. just go down the side of the building. That's You're going to get wet. Yeah, one way <laughs> or the other. All right. Have a good day there, little woman. Sweetie, I'll try to meet you at the water. All righty. Love to see you. Bye. Love you. Bye. I'll let you guys know what I find once I test it, but just visually, she's looking kind of dark. <laughs> Look at that, look at that rear. Unless somebody, you know, flushed it and used different brake fluid, I'm thinking that's probably gonna, probably not gonna test good. And I think he wanted me to pop his air filter out to make sure there wasn't a, um, a non-factory filter in there. Cause he, if it, if it has a non-factory, he wants a factory one in there. So you know all the crazy training all the time of me torturing you being down in Ontario with all the BMW schools. I finally got her all finished up. Look what showed up today. How cool is that? That's awesome. This is a nice good uh, an official plaque. You know for like two or three years um, they quit sending out the plaques and their certificates and stuff. And, uh, when I was there, and I did that last, you know, diagnostic, the certification portion of, of level three that I was there, the very last class. There, he sent out a, or he passed out a, a thing with, with our information to make sure everything was correct. He said, they're going to send out a plaque. He goes, they're back to the plaques again. But what's kind of cool is in the background is a R1200 GS in there. Not not the rally version, but that's okay. It's still a, I mean a GSA version, but it's still a, a GS rally. I love them rallies. But that's pretty cool. Thanks for all your patience going through all that stuff. The traveling, going back and forth in the hotel, walking around that stupid water slide and all them crazy things. But drove you guys nuts. I apologize. I just went to pick this thing up and I realized there's like, I don't know, some kind of black rubbery stuff. I don't know what it was. It was all over this thing. It's been something in shipping or whatever. So I apologize for all the black dots. I didn't notice it. Yeah, one, as I showed you earlier, she don't look real pretty. And she, uh, she hits that 4% like instantly. So she's a... Uh, and I know I'm gonna get the same with the front. So, gotta do a brake flush, gum it. Oh well, get her all nice and fresh again. Let's see what she's looking like from the front. Yep, she definitely needs to be replaced. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be based on the on the rear but the rear because it's such a smaller volume um usually is worse but how's that look she's all nice and clean fluid in there now yeah baby and the front is about to be the same shockingly underneath his seat i find the pro chip <laughs> Oh, you remember I was telling you on the new 1200 or 1250 about the 
the fusible link that's this piece here and you pop this thing out and this is a fusible link and where you put the pro chip you zip tie it to the loom of the harness here now the new one has a really cool fuse block and a, a nice little placeholder for the for the pro computer chip for the encoding trip chip anyway he's got more stuff coming here than he even knows there's all kinds of cool stuff that this enables <laughs> well thankfully he has a stock air filter in there but that stock air filter is way past, way past needing to be replaced even by the looks of it, it looks like she's been she's been blown out a time or two so uh, these things are like i say they're very inexpensive and they work so so well and uh we'll get him a get him a new filter this is just a cage that goes over it it's kind of a tight fit in there but it all comes out oh yeah she's nice and dirty all right, need to make sure there's nothing going to fall in when I pull that out. All right. I wouldn't be surprised that that's not the original filter. I mean, that's ridiculous to uh, not... This is this used to be a rental bike. You know, a, a BMW for hire, so to speak. But uh, anyway, that's what you're... Despite how nasty that air filter looks, that's what you're supposed to see on the inside there. There's the intake. An intake. Everything's all nice and clean. I have pulled other filters out of these, and it looks like the inside of a sandbox. If it's inside on the other side of the filter, guess where it's going? Right down the intake, through the throttle body, right into your motor. I'm telling you, don't mess with that stuff. Put a stock filter in there. See how clean that is? With a Filthy, dirty filter. It's still filtering 100% of the stuff. Amazing. I'll show you what a new one looks like. It's going to shock you. It's a big difference. <laughs> a little bit of difference, huh? Man. Like I say, you can tell that thing's been blown out a bunch of times. Yeah, she's nice and fresh. She's going to gain a half a horsepower by having a fresh air filter in her. <laughs> I don't know. It'll definitely run better though. It'll like that. So Larry's all done and ready to rock and roll. That's cool. Brand new G310R. Brand new R1200 or R1250GS. And two brand new R1250RTs. Yeah. That's cool. Oh no, there's where all my money goes. So, we are going to uh, tackle a Mars Red Metallic. I think that was, I want to say that Mars Red Metallic was the, uh, wasn't that the color of the uh, Option 719 last year? Anyway, we're going to pull apart, or pull the crate apart, of the first R1250 RT. There's another one, I think. Was this black or was it blue? Dang, I took all the stickers off. I can see it over there. What color are you? Uh, I can't see it. Okay, like the 1250? Let's check this sucker out together. So we got staples on one side. Oh yeah, there's that new 1250 motor. Dash and all that stuff looks the same. I think, if I remember right, or if I understood it correctly, the uh, RTs are just pretty much the motor upgrade. I'll have to study into it more to see. Hey, it looks like it's got the stripes as if it was a uh, 712 option as well. Everything else pretty much looks the same. Oh yeah, she's pretty. I do like the red on these RTs. If I was to ever get one, I might be so inclined to uh, get a red one. I see it doesn't have the Brembo's up front either. It's got those haze. Haze is a um, 
a brake manufacturer here in the U.S. They uh, build, you know, fancy BMX bike brakes and that kind of thing. The 1250 GS that I put together, that was Wednesday before Thanksgiving. I got it together that night. It was the end of the day. Friday morning after Thanksgiving, guy walked in, took it. So, other if you discount Thanksgiving that day, it didn't. It barely lasted 15 hours in the store. But Thanksgiving was there too. So, cool stuff. That one's gone. And there's another GS here. I don't know if that's a low chassis. There's supposed to be a standard and a low chassis coming. I don't know which one this one is. But anyway, let me get this thing done. I feel it sprinkling. I want to get it out before it rains on me. Check out that strange thing in the sky. What is that? Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. It's probably casting right on the crate out here. Look at that. BMW crate with an evening glow. Yep, that is pretty. So this is what she looks like right out of the crate. Pretty much looks the same as the the other RTs for the last couple of years. I noticed the brakes are different. I'm sure I'll find things that are different, but initially nothing's jumping out at me. Of course, that beautiful motor sticking out there, that's, that's enough. That's change enough. Yeah, definitely different brakes. You notice they don't say Brembo on them anymore because they're not Brembos. That 1250, that thing, uh, man, I really like the way the brakes, they're very, very responsive. You know, but that was just a quick little test ride. Yeah, there's the old shift cam, the new, the new wave of water boxers. That's something else. Well, little woman, did you have yourself a good day? I've seen you doing a lot of inventory stuff. Oh, yes. Hey, this original line, just like ours, just a bright silver instead of, well, yeah. our gray that kind of looks like lavender every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, she's got a good shade of black going on now with all the dirt. So what's the deal here? We got blue skies and then the direction we got to go looking all black. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's head for the Northland. Yep, that old Alaska. She keeps coming up. Maybe I need to go there. Stopped at the old GC's, filled up the tank. Little woman had to run in for something. Must have got stuck at the cashier thing there. It's taking her forever to come back out. Truck stop's nice and busy. Oh, there she is. I'm wandering around. She's come wandering up on me. Hey, happy. Hey there, little woman. <laughs> did you get your stuff? I did. I got... got you a little something. Oh, uh, you got me something? Yeah, I got you a little something something. Oh. Is it is it my birthday again? No, but you <laughs> like it. Oh, all right. All right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head on to the Hacienda. All righty. All righty. Well, hello there, YouTube. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Hey, most of the drive home was dry. It was wet yeah. up north, and it's not raining out there right now. Not like the roads, I think the roads are dry, weren't they? Yeah, I don't have the windshield wiper on. I don't know. I love it. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> I think tomorrow's only, is it tomorrow? One of the days this week is only 10% chance of rain. Maybe it's tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow, because I thought that was supposed to be today, but obviously oh, it oh. was not. And then one of the days this weekend looks partly sunny. Heck yeah. Man, that, Wait, cool. usually that's really rare. You get the nice days during the week, and then the weekend it's pouring down rain. It's like, yeah. come on, I'm off, you know? I know, it always falls out. Yeah, I love it when I can sneak in a ride. Mm -hmm. I'll try to ride. Well, it, it's so late for it to get nice that that's usually at the very end of the day. All of a sudden, all right, it's nice. It's dry. I can finally go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, the ride's a ride. Yeah. Heck yeah, I didn't get no rides today. Nope, busy yeah. man. Yeah, I could have rode Larry's bike again, but there's no reason to. You know, I, there's nothing I need to test, you know. Tell the brakes work. <laughs> but anyway, I think we're going to roll out on you. All right. Well, thank you guys very, very much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. 
same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Thursday or Friday. Thank you. I'll try to get that R9 T or R1200 RT together <laughs> tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be nice enough I can take that thing for a little spin. That'd be cool. I want to see what an RT's like with the new 1250 motor. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. All right. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. You guys take care. <laughs> take care now. Bye-bye.